2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the FedEx St Jude Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Hello golf fans, Luke Elvey here and I'm delighted to be joined by 2002 PGA Champion Rich Beamer in the booth and Beamer, uh, the juices are flowing, his quest for the FedEx Cup has begun. Tell you what, the folks at home are in for some kind of treat. The action out there has been sensational. Looking forward to seeing how this week shakes out. Looking forward to this, Rich. Let's get into the action. And let's see what he can do here today. Oh, you see that one bouncing around the branches like a pinball machine? That's a good looking shot there. The approach into the first at TPC Southwind Rich played uphill to a challenging green. Back up the hill ever so slightly when the pin is on the back portion of the green, it's hard to get it close, but anywhere on the front part of the green, you can get it close and make birdie. Going with the 9-iron, I think. All right, he's going with a little extra club. Gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. What's in front of them, Henny? This is a 12-footer here. Go on, get in the hole. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A birdie to start the day. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. The second at TPC Southwind presents the first real birdie chance. Just a short par four playing 401 yards. Will this one hang on and find the fairway? Or is it headed towards the rough? Let's take a look at Colin Morikawa from moments ago. Let's recap this long range effort. Solid putt that. Second shot on the second. This one is all over it. Well, that's beautifully judged. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. The third hole at TPC Southwind's a strong par five measuring over 550 yards from the back tees. A bit of water comes into play here on the second shot, so be mindful of where you leave your approach. Taking aim from around 190 yards here.
and well played. Yeah, good mid-range putt this one, right on 17 feet. This one's tracking. Oh, well played. Currently at minus four for the round. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. The fourth hole here at TPC Southwind is the first par three on the course, and it measures just under 200 yards. Just avoid the penalty area to the left. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Needs this one to kick right. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Let's catch up with John Rahm. That's a pretty handy shot. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. And this putt will take them to five under par. This is what they have left for birdie here. Oh, get in. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Wall hold. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Moments like that deserve another look. They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty. Eight shots back after that hole. The fifth at TPC Southwind is a long par four measuring 485 yards. It requires a good strong drive to avoid the bunker on the left and then an accurate approach into this green. Nicely done. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got the big 200 all the way back to this pin. They're not a bad shot, that one. And now we go to the 16th, where this happened just a moment ago. Fantastic touch on this one. Oh, that's the shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about getting it up and down. And back to the play, shall we? What an opportunity to make a birdie. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? A par putt awaits. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The strategy at the sixth here at TPC Southwind on this par four, measuring just under 450 yards from the tips, is to position your drive from the tee to give a clear shot into this green.
Yeah, that one will play. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Just putting on a ball striking clinic, it seems today, Rich. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. And that moves them to minus six for the tournament. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The seventh at TPC Southwind is a strong par four measuring 482 yards from the back tee. A big clump of trees on the left and the one on the right is to be avoided off the tee. Also, a good angle to attack this green is from the left half of this fairway with a huge greenside tree that also affects any poor approaches. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Well, this one's right at the pin. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here at the set. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. This is his third. right out of your playbook a touch of wizardry indeed harry potterish almost be nice to see this one go down let's see if they make it Well, look who's getting on a roll now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's currently tied for 15th. The eighth hole at TPC Southwind is a really nice short par three measuring just 164 yards. This green has been recently contoured, so accuracy or distance control off the tee is paramount. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Just putt right on 10 feet. A good one to make. This is their look at birdie. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to eight under. He's currently in a share of 11th place. The finishing hole on the front nine here at TPC Southwind plays downhill towards a dogleg right. There's a big body of water, the short front left of this green, so make sure you've got enough club to reach the surface. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's got, oh, I'd say roughly 120 here. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. And this part to move into the top 10. Rich, why don't we catch up on some of the other action going on around the course? Good look here for a second shot. Putt. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. The 10th at TPC Southwind 
is a par four that plays just over 450 yards from the back tee. A lot of players take less than driver here to position their ball for the best approach to an uphill green that has a number of tiers on it. Accuracy on both shots are required. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Henny, what's the player facing here? Setting up here from about 150 yards. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. Five feet coming up to the cup. What a nice line. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for birdie. Take some pride in that one. Now four back after that hole. The par 311th at TPC Southwind measures just 162 yards. The looks can be deceiving here. While it looks pretty, it can bite you. Make sure you've got enough club here on approach. Nice shot that. That should find the surface. Outstanding approach shot. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Yes, they've made it. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. The par 4 12th is only a short one measuring 406 yards from the tips, but you need to be very accurate off the tee. Avoid that huge water hazard to the right, and that'll give you the best angle into this green. Any drive that's pushed left will make it a difficult approach, and be wary, there's water over the back of this green, which you can't see. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a sheer of fourth on the leaderboard. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. To the top five he goes. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The 13th at TPC Southwind is a strong par four that plays uphill and a slight dog leg to the right. It requires a big drive up the right half and then a very accurate approach. There's a heavily bunkered green there, so make sure you hit your approach in the right distance. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Let's recap the action from just some moments ago. Well, I'm always happy to recap shots like this. Let's take another look. Yes, it's in. Let's return to live play now. Playing this one about 130 yards out. He's two shots back. Should find the green. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. All these are good putts to make. Good for momentum. Right on seven feet. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Yep, tracking nicely. They're nicely hold. Trailing by a stroke after that hole.
the 14th at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. Needs this one to kick right. That's just inside the range. Lovely moment here. Good opportunity to move into a tie for third. This is on a great line. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. John, what's going on out there? Hey guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set here for her next shot on the 16th. This is their fifth shot. Wow, what a save. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Accuracy is required at the par 4 15th, just 395 yards off the tee. Players like to lay back to give them their right number into this green. And there's a little creek that meanders through the centre of the fairway here and up to the right side of the green. So make sure your approach is accurate. You like that, didn't you? John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th. Oh, almost went in. Okay, time to return to the action. From about 100 yards, just a couple back from our leader. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. That's some good golf right there. This putt to move into a share of second place. Currently 15 under par for the event. The 16th at TPC Southwind is the last genuine birdie hole on the course. It's a par five measuring just 530 yards, but there's a lot required on the tee shot that's played uphill to a ridge. If you can get it up over the rise, a good chance for reaching the green here in two to set up a birdie and even perhaps eagle. But be wary of this green. There's a big bunker short left. And if you find it, it's not an easy up and down. Or maybe even a par can be hard. Good shot there, Beamer. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 185 yards. Going with the seven. Great looking shot, this. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Might well, it be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Well played. He's currently in a share of top spot. The penultimate hole at TPC Southwind is a very strong par four, measuring 490 yards off the back tees. There is a little creek that runs through the centre of the fairway here, but that only catches the biggest of drives. There's two big trees either side that you want to position yourself in the middle of, so then you can hit a clean shot to the green. Two strong shots required to get onto the surface. And even once you're on the green, par isn't assured. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This is looking pretty good in the air. Wow, what a shot. A birdie putter waits. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well, that'll play. He finds
finds himself in a share of the lead. Well, the finishing hole at TPC Southwind is an absolute beauty. There's been some heroic moments like hole out eagles, and there's been triple bogeys that have cost championships. Your job is to get the ball safely into the fairway here. If you're not a long driver, don't take on the corner. But if you can, it'll leave you just a short iron in, a chance to seal the victory with a birdie. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Currently tied for the lead. Going with the eight iron here. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Oh, right by the hole. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. That's tracking. That signs off on this player's performance.